guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video we are keeping it pretty casual it's just so like gloomy and rainy i don't know if you can see it and i'm breaking out pretty bad so i didn't want to put makeup on so i thought we would do a declutter like cleaning organizing my makeup there's a lot of products i just want to go through because i feel like there's just so many products i just don't use anymore or i've been holding on to hope hoping to use and i just haven't and there's a lot of new makeup that I do want to try and get and I want to make room for that. So it's been a while. I think it's been almost a year since I last filmed my declutter and I didn't really declutter anything. I kind of just organized. So there will be some like ASMR organizing sounds but then there will also just be some decluttering. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so my first drawer is like skincare slash like lip stuff, headbands. It's kind of a hodgepodge of stuff like I said, like mascara eyebrows i don't really have very much like mascara because i literally have a black and a brown and then two primers so i'll probably leave that i kind of just want to clean this drawer back up and then i really want to go through my brow stuff because i just don't use a lot of brow products anymore i mostly just use brow gel so i do want to go through this organize it and maybe like get rid of some stuff that is just old so i'm gonna start over here so this is just all of like my brow products this is actually this should be here but this is just like bullies anastasia brow freeze nars all that stuff so i'm gonna take all of this out and then like reorganize this and like declutter a little So first things, I'm obviously going to keep my NARS matte concealer. I love to like prime my eyes with this, so I'm obviously going to keep this. I have both of these, my Anastasia Brow Freeze, which I think, I don't know if it's still good. I feel like on camera it doesn't look bad, but in person it's like cloudy looking. So I don't know, and I know these expire like really, really fast. It says six months, and I've definitely had it for like a year and a half, so... I'm gonna get rid of this. Then my elf one still looks fine. So I'm gonna keep my elf one. These are all my tinted brow gels. So my Glossier one is obviously still good. This is like my newest one. And then my Kosas one is still good. My Benefit one is probably dried out. I'm not gonna lie. Actually, I don't know. The Benefit one is like my favorite one. So um, my Merit one is dried out. I don't know if you can see, so I'm going to get rid of that one. And then my Sona one actually still looks pretty good. But then I have two clear brow gels. I'm going to get rid of this one because I just don't like it. It's the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I just feel like it makes my eyebrows like so crispy and I don't like that. Um, the Makeup by Mario one does make my eyebrows a little crispy, but this one is really, really good for if you have an event and you just need your eyebrows to last. Stay and put like all day long. This is going to be like the best one. Okay, and then I have all of these brow pencils, and I need to see, like, which ones are dried out and which ones aren't. So give me one second. Surprisingly, none of these are dried out. My Patrick Ta Brow Wax. Um, I'm just going to put this over here. It's not my most favorite product in the world, but it's okay. Okay, so that is what this drawer is looking like. It's not the prettiest drawer in the world, but this is the one I use a lot because I have all my tools in here and then I have all my skincare. So it's going to get messed up like pretty frequently, but yeah, moving on. I kind of like move things around a little bit. I have all my bronzer and highlights up here. So I have creams and powders. I do have a few that I do know that I do want to get rid of, but not a ton to be honest. Silly. I probably won't take this stuff out because I, I'm kind of fine with how this looks. I, some of it I can't move around. Like the Charlotte Tilbury won't fit if it stands completely up. So I do have to like leave it laying. 
but and then my rare beauty highlight is like completely shattered so that's that but anywho two that i do know for sure i want to get rid of this is jacqueline cosmetics um cream bronzer this is one of the first ones that i've like cream bronzers i've tried i just don't love this one anymore for one it's a little dried out now but it's also just so orange Okay, well, I don't know if you can see that, but it's just a very, very warm orange bronzer. And it's just a little too orange for my skin color. So I'm going to get rid of this. This one is this Anastasia bronzer. I have it because I do really like the formula. Like, the formula on this one is really nice and creamy. Um, it just goes on really pretty, sinks into the skin. I just don't like this color. Again, this is just so yellow. Like, it's just... I don't know. I just don't like the shade of this. It's just a little too yellow for my liking my um patrick tom one i'm gonna like kind of show you how much more cool toned and less yellow like the anastasia one almost just looks like green like yellow compared to the patrick tom one so i just never reach for this because i just don't like that color okay so i'm gonna look through my fenty b ones just to make sure that they're still good because these are my oldest ones and I think I'm going to be getting rid of it because I don't know what that stuff is that almost looks like mold to me. So that has got to go. And that one was Butter Biscuit, which is like more of my bronzer shade. And then something about Amber does, don't mind the hair, okay? I'm trying to get it to focus a little. The lighting is just not going to be good because it's just so gloomy and dark outside right now. This just looks weird to me. Don't mind the hair in it. It's just for my brushes. Okay, let me live. But it just kind of looks... just a little bit off for some reason i don't know i think i'm gonna get rid of these so now i'll just have my fenty powder bronzers let me just make sure these are still good i feel like i haven't used these in forever they still look good to me so i'm gonna move some things around a little bit maybe i don't know i'm gonna move some things around a little bit cream products cream bronzers here and i put this up on here just to keep these from like rolling um but yeah i can't stand the charlotte tilbury one up where it's just such an awkward like size like where it's just so ginormous but i guess i could maybe i will just put my patrick tall one there i don't know i'm figuring it out i don't know if i like that or not but so now I have all my powder ones here, minus my powder towel that has a cream and a powder. And then I have all my highlights. This one is um, my most, okay, I'm a blushaholic. I love blush, so just like mind your business about it. But yeah, I have a lot of blush, I'm not going to lie. And I literally use the majority of these, I'm not even going to lie. But there are some that I've just been like holding on to and I don't really know why. Okay, I do want to keep these LYS blushes because I want to use them. I like the colors of these. I have said, like, I don't think this formula is, like, out of this world amazing. But I do want to keep these because I want to use them. Like, I want to force myself to use these and, like, try them out and give them a fair shot. Because I feel like I've used these, like, a couple of times. Um, These ones I am going to get rid of because I just don't love this formula. It's just... A little too pigmented for me these are the one size um cheek clapper 3d blush trios they're just a little too pigment for my liking so i just don't i just don't love this formula so i'm gonna get rid of these ones because i've just been keeping them for no reason and then i have these Ugh, and every time i open them i'm like i really want to use these because i really like ugh, the colors oh yeah i'm keeping them 
I am going to get rid of this Natasha Denona Cupid Cheek Duo. I don't use this ever. Um, it's just kind of a weird formula. Like, the highlight's a really pretty formula. It's just a little too dark for me. But I just don't ever really reach for this. So I don't really have a ton that I want to get rid of in here. There is just a few things that I, again, have just been holding on to. Like these Jaclyn Cosmetics um blush sticks they're nothing like there's nothing wrong with these i just have had them for a long time and i just don't ever ever use them so i'm gonna get rid of those and then these anastasia ones again i like the colors of these and i always tell myself that i'm gonna use them and i literally never do so i'm gonna get rid of these you know what i'm gonna rearrange this a little So my idea is I kind of want to get some of these products that were in the back that I just forget about that are back there. Like this, these two bronzers are just huge packaging, so I can't keep them up here. No matter how I store them, they just hit the top of the drawer. But back here, they slide to the back and I just can't ever see them. Just like these palettes and like these LYS blushes. I want to be able to like see them. So I don't know if I should put them over here or up here. This was back there i'm gonna get rid of this this is the wonder beauty on the glow it is really nice it has a blush and a highlight but if the highlight is just too dark for me and i just don't reach for this so i'm gonna get rid of that I'm gonna do with the Milani one. Um, I want to keep it because I do love this one, but I it's so bulky and just awkward. Oh, never mind. Okay, it fits right there. And then I put some of my elf ones back here. Um, I like to store them this way so I can see the color. I didn't really get any rid of anything like super crazy. Yeah, if I don't use these LYS and these, then they are gonna have to go because they're really in my line of sight. So and then i don't know if i'm gonna go through my eyeshadow drawers today because honestly they're a hot mess this is all blush palettes and like face palettes and random palettes and but i don't know if i want to go through this today that might just be a separate video because i really just need to go through and get rid of a lot of these that's my comb don't mind my comb <laughs> these eyeshadow palettes because i just don't reach for a ton of them and there's some i want to deep hot like my ColourPop ones and my dose of colored ones and i just want to depot those but yeah i don't think i'm gonna go through this one today okay so i just filmed some of this and i was not recording so all right so this is my other side of my drawers i have primers up here and like setting sprays and stuff i'm not gonna go through that i don't think there's nothing like i can think of but foundations and concealers are right here and i definitely want to go through these um then i have lip products here and here and then the bottom drawer is just 
that random stuff, honestly. So, I definitely want to go through my foundations. I'm going to take all of this out and then just go from there. So, I'm going to start with this clear door. So, this I keep like skin tints. Um, smaller packaging, foundations, squeezy tubes, stuff like that. So I'm going to start with this one. So obviously I'm going to keep my Cali Wright and my Fenty Beauty. These are like my favorite um, skin tints. And then obviously Laura Mercier. What's this called again? True Match Hyaluronic Serum. I can never remember the name of this. But this is one of my favorites. I just these are like my favorite and I use these a lot in the summertime. I'm going to get rid of this infallible pro matte. This is just too, a little too matte for my liking anymore. I used to love this back in like high school and I repurchased it because of that, but it's just so matte now that I just really don't reach for this anymore. It's just very matte and very full coverage. So I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to keep my Bite Beauty. You can't get Bite Beauty anymore, but I actually really like this change maker supercharged and I also really like this bare minerals they kind of remind me of each other they're just like they're like a mix between like a skin tint and a foundation they're a little bit more of a coverage than a skin tint but they're not as heavy or anything as a foundation I'm gonna keep my Armani I just keep it in here since it's like a mini I need to like turn these on like their side And then the last one that I keep in this drawer, I'm pretty sure, is my NARS um, Sheer Glow. Again, this is just like small packaging that's kind of bulky, so that's really loud. So I kind of just keep it in here, so. And then the, all of this is just like foundations, foundations. So um, first off, I'm going to get rid of this Urban Decay Naked Foundation, or what's it called? Stay Naked Weightless Foundation. You can't get this anymore. And the color's always just been a little bit off for me. Like, it's always just been a little bit too warm, and I just don't reach for it, so I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to keep my Lancome foundations, because I really like these ones. Again, I just wish I would have gotten a lighter shade. I don't know why I got this shade. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know if that was the lightest shade they had at the time of this one, but, but I do really like both of these foundations. They're really, really good for long wear. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this Anastasia one. This is a nice foundation. I just don't really ever reach for it. It's the Luminous foundation. So I'm going to get rid of this. Um, I'm going to keep my Fenty Beauty one. I actually just repurchased this recently. So I'm going to keep that one. It's really good if I want like a matte full coverage. I like this one. I'm going to keep this Too Faced one. I haven't used this one in a while. But I am going to keep it because if I do want matte. Especially like in the summertime when I am more oily. And I need more like matte foundations obviously gonna keep my makeup on mario i really really like this foundation um i do like this one but i think i want to get rid of it it's the wet and wild photo focus i used to again love this but i just i honestly never reach for this so i'm gonna get rid of it i'm gonna keep this i need to get a new one of this like i honestly just always 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 forget but this is just about empty and i really need a new one but i literally always forget about it obviously going to keep my Dior Forever Glow. This It Cosmetics one is actually a really nice foundation. I need to like remember to use it more because it's really, really pretty on the skin. I'm obviously keeping the NARS Light Reflecting. This is one of my holy grails. Um, it's very messy. And for some reason, my lid like won't stay on very good anymore. I don't know what I did. And then I'm going to keep my Charlotte Tilbury one. I don't use this a ton, but again, when I do want full glam, this is a really nice foundation that is a little heavy, but if you just use like a light hand, it's really, really pretty and lasts really well or lasts like a long time. I might have to rearrange these a little. Obviously, keeping my makeup forever one. I really like this one. I want to try the glow one that they just came out with, but this one's really nice because it is more of a matte finish, but it, it can be medium. It can be full coverage. You can really share it out if you want to. It's just a really pretty like everyday foundation or even like event foundation i love to mix these two together 
Um, this is super old. Not gonna lie, I still use it. This is one of my absolute favorite foundations. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. I don't know why it, like I think they discontinued this one and they just brought out a new one that I wanna try their new one. This one is honestly doesn't even have much left in it, but I just love this foundation. I can't ever part with it because I do actually use this foundation quite a bit. I'm going to keep the hourglass one, even though this isn't an absolute favorite for me. I paid way too much money for this, so I will get my use out of this foundation. There's nothing wrong with this foundation. It is a nice foundation. I just think it's so expensive, and it's just kind of like, meh, you know? I'm going to get rid of this Rare Beauty foundation. This is very old, and I just feel like it's... I just don't reach for it anymore. So. I'm like iffy on like these two. These two are the ones that I can't decide. This is expired. Okay, because these products, like once they expire, they are expired. This one did July 2023, so last July. Um, I do like this foundation. I don't think it's like amazing, the best I've ever had, but it's okay. So I think I am actually going to get rid of this. I just don't reach for it enough to justify keeping it anymore. And then um, I can't decide on this Maybelline one. I only have one other drugstore like foundation foundation other than like skin tints so maybe i will keep this it is really really nice for like again full coverage days so i'm gonna do like, concealers Any, like rhyme or reason and sometimes i'll keep bigger packaging concealers in here like these like two faced ones so i have a darker one for like cream bronzer slash contour honestly i might just put this with my cream bronzers i feel like i'm rich for them more these i really like to use like i have this laura mercier one which this was an accident they i ordered 0.5 in they sent me five in so I just kept it because I thought, well, I'll just use it for bronzer. These are really good for underpainting because since they are concealer, they have a little bit more coverage. So for underpainting, you can go a little bit heavier because you're going to go over it with concealer and foundation. So I'm going to keep these in my other door, actually. I do really like this Too Faced concealer. I am going to keep it. I want to use it more. I honestly feel like sometimes I just forget that it's there. So I do want to use that one more. I'm going to get rid of this Iden Beauty one. I just don't ever reach for this. It's like okay concealer. It's nothing amazing. I am going to get rid of my e.l.f. What is this called? Hydrating Camo Concealer. Or Hydrating Camo Concealer. I do really like this concealer. I really like e.l.f.'s products. But this is very expired. It is like very separated. And... It just smells a little bit weird, and I have had this for a while. I will say all of their complexion products kind of smell like nail polish remover, which is a little bit concerning, but I really, really like this concealer for every day, so I would definitely buy this again. I just, it just looks a little bit odd, and I've had this for longer than I would like to mention. And I'm going to get rid of this one size concealer. I just don't really reach for this anymore. I used to really, really like this one. I just... Don't ever reach for it. It sets really, really fast. So you do have to blend this really fast. But it has like very full coverage. And it's very matte since it does set. I just don't ever reach for it. So I'm going to get rid of this. I'm also going to get rid of this Merit Complexion Stick. I wish I would have got this in a lighter shade. I got this as like a cream bronzer. But this is just like too weird of a shade to use this as a cream bronzer. It's just very 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 yellow so i wish i would have got this as like a foundation shade because i've been seeing a lot of people wear this, wear this as a stick foundation which it is kind of like a whatever you can use it as foundation concealer bronzer whatever but yeah so that was kind of my bad i wish i would have gotten a different shade um this kosas concealer i'm gonna get rid of um this is very very expired it does not smell good so i'm gonna get rid of this i'm also gonna get rid of this rare beauty one again it's just expired and um it's just not a fave of mine anymore. I'm going to also get rid of this Anastasia one. 
for kind of the same reasons and i just this is a good concealer but for some reason i just never were really was really reaching for it but this is a nice concealer i think i'm just gonna start putting them back in and if i see any i want to get rid of i will tell you I did end up bringing that other one back in there just so they're a little bit more like separated out and not so stacked on top of each other so yeah and then I'm just gonna put my powder foundations I I'm just gonna keep these I honestly use them to set my face my eyes whatever and then my one size one is like actually in my purse so. Okay, so I have a bunch of powders and lipsticks in here. So this is actually a perfect sample. I need to put this somewhere else. Okay, so powders. I don't know if I'm really going to do anything that crazy with the powders. I think I'm just going to get rid of this Ciate one. I don't ever reach for this anymore. And there's really not even that much left in it. And I think I'm going to get rid of this Milani one. Because again, I just don't reach for that one either. I hope I'm gonna keep this NYX one. I don't reach for this as much anymore. I used to reach for this for this brightening powder, and I might still keep it just for this brightening powder. I wish I had just this. I don't really reach for these, but this I really like just to like if I feel like I need to brighten my face up a little. So obviously I'm gonna keep my MAC ones. I love my MAC lipsticks and I use these a ton. I don't know if I really have any lipsticks I want to get rid of. I have my rare beauty lip oils they fell down over here so i don't know if there's anything i'm gonna get rid of in here because i reach for bullet lipsticks a lot but now my liquid lipstick drawer i really need to go through these i have a lot of liquid lipsticks but i honestly just wear like bullet ones very like majority of the time i just don't really wear them unless it's a bold liquid lipstick i like to keep like reds and like bold lips so that i don't have to worry about them moving or anything um Back here, I just have all of my, these are like bombs, like the Tarte ones and like the Fenty Beauty ones. So I'm going to just take these out and then these can stay because I'll just keep these. I actually wish, I need to remember to like use these ones because I actually really like these ColourPop like lippy sticks and then I really like these Maybelline Super Stays. I just wish I could remember to use those. So maybe I'll end up rearranging that. But I am going to get rid of these Fenty Beauty lipsticks. I don't ever reach for these anymore. I think they actually might have discontinued these. I had some like really bold shades in these. Like I have this like really deep brown. But again, I just don't reach for it. I think I will keep the pink one. Which is, yes, this one. Because I don't really have any bright pinks. This is in Candy Venom. So I think I'll keep Candy Venom, but then get rid of the rest. And then I think I'll actually keep these Fenty Beauty ones because I actually wore these not that long ago and I really like them. And then obviously I'm going to keep my Makeup by Mario and my Tarte ones. These are some of my favorites. Again, just, just don't mind back there. That's just like skincare backups and stuff. I don't even really know where to start, honestly. I'm gonna get rid of this. I always keep it and I never use it, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I think I'm gonna get rid of these Too Faced ones. I really, really liked these and they're so pretty, but I never reach for these anymore and they're very expired. I might swatch them just to see. Um, lip glosses, I'll probably just keep these. Honestly, I don't. Is there anything here that I really don't use? I might get rid of this Tarte lip gloss. I don't ever really use this one. And then I think I'm gonna get rid of these Marc Jacob lip glosses. I got these forever ago and these used to be like the thing, but you can't get Marc Jacobs anymore as of now, I don't think. I just don't really ever, ever reach for these. These can be a little bit like that goopy 
like very pigmented lip gloss if you're not careful. So I'm gonna get rid of those. And then all my Buxom ones, I love my Fawn Beauty ones. I really like Too Faced. All of these I really like. I'm gonna get rid of this, this Essence one, I think. It does look really pretty actually. You know what, that looks really pretty. So I'm actually gonna keep that. And I'll just put it right here. And then I have my MAC liquid lipsticks. I love this red. So I'm gonna keep this red one. But for some reason, I can never wear these nudes. I don't know what it is, but they look so gray when I put them on my lips. I don't know why, but they just pull like so, like look at that. I don't even like those colors watched. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna get rid of both of these because I literally never reach for those. I always say I'm gonna keep them because I wanna wear them, but they just don't look good on me. And I'm gonna get rid of this actually. I just don't. I don't think I'll ever wear it. I always say I want to keep it so I can have a dark brown look, liquid lipstick. And maybe I still will. But I don't really wear bold, bold, bold lips anymore. I just feel more confident in nudes or like reds. But I don't really reach for like browns. So I'm going to think on this one for a second. What is this? Oh, see, I have a Tarte gloss over there. And I don't know why it was with my liquid lipsticks randomly. Um, these Jaclyn Hill ones, I actually think I might get rid of these. These aren't even like that crazy old or anything, but they're from a holiday collection. I just didn't love the formula of these. I like the colors, but I just, they were so, so drying on my lips that I just didn't really ever reach for these. So, and then I have my Kylie ones. I love her bold liquid lipstick, so I'll probably keep those but the nudes i really gotta go through like this what is this this is a mess okay so i actually used to really like her liquid lipsticks like even like the nudes but i think i want to get rid of them because for some reason the nude ones especially i'm noticing are just kind of going all over the place and i don't know if the stopper has came out but it just like glops onto the applicator so i'm gonna get rid of the this one this one was bare the one that i used the most was kylie i really liked this pink and i might keep this one because this one doesn't look that bad no that's really nice i'm actually might keep that i need to reach for like liquid lipsticks honestly i liked the lip liner that went with kylie so i am gonna keep kylie this is gonna go this is gonna and then i'm gonna get rid of these oh yeah, these nudes. So I have Candy Bear, Candy K, and then One Wish. Again, I just don't really reach for these anymore. So I'm going to get rid of these. And then I'll probably just keep the lip liners up with my lip liners up here. And I think I am going to keep these. I know they're super expired, but I really like the colors of these. So I'm going to keep them. Don't judge me. Okay, goodbye. And then I'll probably just put these two faced ones, maybe like right here. So that is all of my liquid lipsticks. Oops, I forgot about my MAC ones. So I'll put that right, right there. Since these I want to use more, I'm going to stand these up. Like, see if I can stand them up. Yeah. So I'm going to keep those there. I think I used to be able to put. keep those like that for now maybe the rest i'm gonna keep so yeah i'm actually pretty proud of that i feel like it doesn't look like we got rid of a much because i got like rearranged some but i got rid of a lot of my liquid lipsticks i might actually put these 
in here now and then whenever i have my hope one it's in my purse again so um whenever it's not in my purse i'll put it in here so yeah i'm pretty proud of that and then i'll show you everything that i've gotten rid of okay so this is everything that i've gotten rid of i go through a couple of my lip liners but i'm actually pretty glad like i'm like very surprised of how much i got rid of i got rid of a lot of foundations there's some that's like fell back there um but yeah so this was a pretty successful declutter in my opinion i know it might not seem like a lot but to me it feels like a lot so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you in my next one bye